<coughs> Alright, here we have the um, power supply board for that um, TV we were repairing. And I've got a capacitor here that I picked up. And it's a 16 volt, I couldn't find a 10 volt. But it's okay to go up on the voltage, and it's a little bit taller, and hopefully we won't have any problems making it fit. Um, I think I got plenty of clearance for it. Um, it's a little skinnier, but it's a little taller. Um, so, we'll just have to see. Um, what I probably should do beforehand is go ahead and get the um, housing make sure because if I have to I can lean it over a little ways to make it clear a little better but you can see it's a little bit taller so let me go get the housing all right it's been a few days since I disassembled this so I don't remember how the housing was but we've got um, Plenty of room. You can see this board fits in just like that. And so we've actually got about that much gap above power supply socket. look, it just barely sticks up above that, so we're in good shape. We got plenty of room. So this was the bag capacitor. If you look, you can see it. The top of it's bulged just a little bit. All the other ones look fine. They're completely flat. So, first thing we need to do is get this one out. And I have a desoldering iron, but sometimes, you know, it's easier just to rock the capacitor. So, take the tip and melt the solder and then just rock it to where that lead comes out. Get it to the other side. See, I've got my finger under here and I'm just pushing it one way or the other. out. So then that one's clear. I can kind of uh, smooth the solder away on this one and clear that hole out. Uh, clear that one out. Now, we've got um, They mark it. Positive side. And then that would be the negative side. The negative side is the one with the stripe. You can just imagine. I don't know if they put that on there on purpose, but it kind of looks like a negative sign. But the stripe goes on the negative side. The positive side is also the one with the long lead. Um, so you can feed these down in there. That's it. And I'll clip these leads. Go get my pliers. So now, just take our pliers. I 
We're done. New one, old one. Quick fix. So now we just reassemble like we took it apart and we'll see if it works. Here we go. Moment of truth. Now I've got a piece of wire for an antenna. And if you can't begin. I'm sorry that I broke up with you by text, mm. but there's one condition. Admit that I'm better at the piano than you are at the piano. Alright. And we'll put a DVD player hooked up to it just in case we couldn't get anything, but we're kicking out TV. Let's see, you're picking this up at 1080i. Looks pretty clear. Not picking up a whole lot on a piece of wire. Let's see if this DVD player works. Yeah. A friend of mine gave it to me because it wasn't working. Let's see if it works. It's the first time I've ever tried it out. Oh, we're going to go into this video. Wrong disc, yeah. I'm assuming I might take it apart and try cleaning it. But let's see what else the uh, tuner will do. Let's see. Keep hitting the wrong button. We'll go to DTV and select. Okay, it's channel 14. Need to build a foundation for the rest of their lives. Channel 20. Education for the future. It's breaking up a little bit. Lost it. There we go. 720p. Introducing good little TV. First of its kind. One wireless plan. Pretty that clear. Unlimited music. One touch to download millions of songs anywhere. Experience Move Music today and get anyway, unlimited music downloads. Anyway, looks like our repair was successful.